I've managed to fulfill my master's orders. I give you my thanks. Who, exactly, do you serve? Ishin Ashina. <clears throat> I am a doctor in the service of Lord Ishin. Why were you ordered to help me? Lord Ishin has no desire to use the power of the dragon's heritage. That is why he... He tried to help Lord Kuro escape Ashina. Correct. The message I found in the well, that was your doing? Also correct. My duties have concluded. But there's someone I think you'd like to see. Lord Kuro is downstairs. There's someone I think you, Lord Kuro. for you, my lord. Yes, you did well to come here. Let us go. We must leave, Ashina. Wolf, my blood. The blood of the dragon causes men to become undying. The same goes for you. Yes, my lord. I wish to save you. I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. However, undying begets stagnation. The immortal oath, the rejuvenating waters, the dragon rot. They all corrupt men. To the point that they no longer live as men. I wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? Father. I cannot break the Iron Code. Father, I cannot... I cannot. To protect you, the Divine Heir. That was the duty my father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life for my sake? Two? Three times? Or perhaps a number so large that it cannot be counted? As it was for the purpose of defending my lord, the number does not matter. I do not wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath. Wolf, join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality. As you wish. Thank you, loyal wolf. If we are seeking to sever the immortal ties, I know a good place to start. Wolf. Look at this. It's an ancient record that was kept in Ashina Castle. Sacred dragon tears from the divine realm. Yes, it is my belief that with the dragon tears, it may be possible to sever the dragon's heritage. But the divine realm? How do we. I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there, it belonged to a person of interest. Take a look. Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another divine heir living here in Ashina Castle. His name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently. Wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead, I returned to the divine realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead? is the key to reaching the Divine Realm. That is my belief. Wolf, 
Let us discover the truth together. Now, as to how we begin our search, I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi. But I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes. So if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, and you can use this window to reach the roof. Find Lord Ishin, and ask if he knows how we might sever the ties of immortality. He's recuperating in one of the watch- Reach the roof from that open window. I entrust- About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Saki. What? You earned it. Take it. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The mortal blade. If you had such a weapon... It may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Hmm. To kill a monster such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? 
I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate, and you lose. So, you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor, Dogen, devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices was able to salvage some of it, probably Dojun. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow is less furrowed than before. If only a little. Hmm. Please, see that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. Goodbye. Wolf, the bolt was too heavy for me to move. Think nothing of it. Still so much dust. <clears throat> oh, this dust is awful. I have returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade. It's a sword that has the power to kill the Undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. My lord, this is for you. Could this be? It's a Sakura droplet. That's 
When the Undying Pledge of the Dragon's Heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the Oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely, Wolf. If you so desire, I can use this Sakura Droplet to assist you. If you should be so kind. Of course. Close your eyes. My lord. Lord Takeru's dragon blood lives on with you. I humbly accept. Yes. You may open your eyes now. My lord. That was a boon granted by Lord Takeru. Use it well. Yes. A flower. First, read this. What is... Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead Aroma, and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the Fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the Fountainhead Aroma. A place where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes. Indeed, the Sunken Valley may be the place the Fountainhead waters should flow into there. Where is this Sunken Valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the White Serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the Sunken Valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. My lord, this... Is for you. This is a document written by one who sought the Fountainhead Aroma. I see. It says there's a fragrant stone in some sacred village, but I've never heard of such a village. It is beneath Ashina. Now that you mention it, about the well near the Moonview Tower, I've read it may have some connection with the bottomless hole. This may be worth investigating. I will take a look. Good. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. A place to throw oneself. I've seen a place where that might be possible. You have? There is a great, seemingly bottomless hole in the abandoned dungeon outside Ashina Castle. An old woman there, she told me to throw myself in. Hmm. But the place you throw yourself into... You believe it's connected to somewhere? Yes. I felt a faint wind blowing in from the direction of the Tori Gate. I think I will try jumping into it. It's worth a try. But do be careful. Oh, that's right. That door marked with the outline of a person. Lord Ishin once called it a shinobi shortcut. I haven't a clue how it works. But seeing as he mentioned shinobi, I thought you might know. <laughs> 